Hi guys. Well, it is a gray, gloomy, drizzly, nasty, depressing, yuck Monday morning here in the collapse of everything. You're in Doomsday Trailer. I could not even get to the dock for my planet saving cup of organic coffee. Uh, but since it is a Monday morning, that would be, what are we up to now? February 5th, 2024. It is, of course, time for Good News Monday. There, there's only one problem, uh, at least when I got up this morning, I had no good news to share with you. Uh, no good news on the planet. So... I uh, almost did not have this uh, rant. It'll probably be a pretty short one. Well, I guess depending on who you are, uh, there's some uh, there, there's some good news on the planet as caterpillar stock hits all time high after earnings beat. So the literal planet eater corporation called caterpillar the, that is the greatest uh name for a uh a planet eating corporation that i can think of i was just uh talking to a buddy of mine just hung up the phone with him uh talking about how he just spent several thousand dollars helping to keep Caterpillar stock at an all-time high. Where are they? At $329. Uh, they're up, uh, they're year over year, they're up 13% from one year ago. Caterpillar Corporation. Uh, I I've been saying for years, if you want to make money off the collapse of a planet uh, Caterpillar Corporation is your bet okay so this one is right here from the great state of Florida many versions of this this is USA Today's version where you know we had this little cold snap last year so, in one spring, this is Blue Spring, off uh, the St. John's River, over one, no, it was 972. So, approximately 1,000 manatees uh, were in this one spring. A thousand manatees, as you can see in this photo wall-to-wall -wall manatees and of course everybody you know my sister sent me this as a proof to you know as proof as how uh, you know how humans are bringing manatees back from uh, the eve of destruction and <clears throat> so guys make no mistake about it this is good news that this one spring uh, has 1,000 manatees in it. Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, okay, that, that's good news on one level, but what, where it never really talked about anywhere in this story is I don't know how many springs like this are in Florida. And uh, where, where you might, you're lucky to see three or four manatees. So what this is a picture of is what uh, the springs in Florida used to look like before humans ever got here. Uh, what this is is a photographic reminder of life before humans, hopefully, uh, life after humans <clears throat> that uh, you know does nobody dreamed uh, that there would ever be a thousand manatees in one spring uh, in Florida 
uh, the population of manatees, they're saying it's, I don't know, somewhere around eight or 9,000. They don't know in the state. Uh, according to this, the population of manatees, <clears throat> if humans had never gotten here, good God, it would probably be 100,000 <coughs> manatees. So, uh, th there you go. Uh, is this good news or not? Uh, for one spring, it's good news. Uh, but, but it's just more and more evidence that humans need to go. That this is a picture of life before humans. There were probably 2,000 manatees in the spring uh, before goddamn humans ever got here. So that was pretty much going to be my rant. But then at the last minute, <clears throat> I was saved. I was saved. I, I got a, a, a note from Newsweek magazine. Newsweek magazine has uh, <clears throat> started this new thing, I guess, called Better Planet. That uh, Newsweek magazine uh, is tired of the doom and gloom. Uh, we won't mention a vote for Trump is a vote for an environmental apocalypse. I'm not sure if the article, the Newsweek article, a vote for Trump is a vote for an environmental apocalypse uh, made it into Better Planet or not. But uh, Newsweek magazine wants all of us to know that it is not all environmental apocalypse on the planet. So you can actually sign up. So this will be a weekly newsletter. So uh, why does Newsweek magazine care? <clears throat> why we care? <clears throat> a better planet with a sustainable future often feels out of reach, but it doesn't have to be. Not if humanity takes a collective leap forward. Newsweek's Better Planet highlights the innovators and innovations that are leading the way to a healthier and safer world and the individual actions that we can all take to help the environment. Because the first step in making a difference is recognizing that we can make a difference. I don't know if you can read this line or not. Better planet sustaining uh, better planet sustaining who? Uh, Better planet sustaining who? Sustaining who? Sustaining who? Sustaining who? There you go. Sustaining the H word. Yes, you have to have the H word. And then, of course, the number one thing you see is sponsored insights. Yes, electrify your drive with Kia. Discover the advantages of the new Kia EV, EV9 and the benefits of driving an electric vehicle. Yeah, so, so you know, obviously what, what this Better Planet thing is designed is to sell electric vehicles. All right. Uh, so if you want to sign up, <clears throat> I'm sure you can figure out how. Okay. So this is our first taste of a better planet. We're spotlighting the great state of Texas. Texas. Who is the great? Who is the greenest state of all? 
the Lone Star State, Texas. Yes, despite its reputation as the center of the fossil fuel universe, maybe the greenest state in the Union, at least when it comes to energy. And then I'm a little bit surprised on uh, on their trending stories because they're about overfishing and the collapse of the Amazon. I'm a little bit unclear why wow, those two made it into Better Planet. All right, but uh, we also have podcasts. Podcasts. Uh, the Better Planet podcast this bi-weekly podcast features meaningful conversations with real planet heroes about their efforts to help the environment as well as encouraging, encouraging news and information that you need to help make this a better planet for everyone. So their lead-off podcast is Climate Grief Management. There you go. Uh, featuring Dr. Kimberly Rain Miner. I love it. M-I-N-E-R. Uh, yeah. Climate Grief Management is a... Uh, that, that, that is definitely a way to a uh, better planet. Then, of course, we have the S-word sustainability. Here we go. I'm sure uh, Andy the gardener will enjoy this one. Top sustainable destinations for eco-conscious travelers. This is how traveling around the planet uh, can help you save the planet. Looking for an environmentally friendly location that offers scenic beauty, lots of activities, and local culture? One of these places may fit the bill. Yes, let's all uh, hop in our jumbo jets or our cruise ships. Uh... You know, I'm not sure about the uh, the the editors of uh, of a better planet. New York Stock Exchange drops idea on investing in nature amid GOP backlash. Uh, there, there, there you go. Uh, Ah, uh, yes, don't forget the next generation of climate activists. All right, well, this is some good news. I'm glad to see this one made it in. U.S. offshore wind industry is off to a turbulent start in the new year, and I've uh, been reading about this. I guess I should have really included, so this actually is some good news that uh, th this bullshit uh, offshore uh, wind energy uh, is getting more and more backlash. Uh, what they really like to celebrate here is our planet heroes. We're going to meet three planet heroes. This nice-looking young man is John Benitez, uh, who links New Orleans, New Orleans culture to coastal restoration. Quote, over the next few years, we're going to be planting 65,000 trees just here in this one little part of Louisiana. He said of the work his group is doing, and of course, those 65,000 trees will soon be going underwater. But uh, the, we, we have some good-looking apocaloptimists here. This is Kristen M M Mandala, or Mandala. 
Kristen Mandala turns fear, turns fear into fuel to drive climate solutions. Mandela, a Canadian sustainability advocate, said people do not realize sustainability is, quote, a lens that you can use to see all the different things in your life. <coughs> uh, if I want to break down, but it gets more and more encouraging because uh, we've gone from her to this little hottie. Uh, this is Nobel Foods CEO Maggie Ricani is crafting a plant-based cheese. Crafting a plant-based cheese to too stretchy to resist. Uh, Maggie's startup is hoping to not only accommodate people who cannot consume dairy, but to also reshape food production by making it more sustainable. Oh God, another, a, a, another Maggie has appeared in my life. Yes, uh, I will, uh, I better shut up uh, while I'm ahead. I could, I could make a comment about st too stretchy to resist, but I'm going to move on and then uh, take a wild guess uh, who, what their video of the week is. Their video of the week is the same video which was their commercial for Electrify Your Drive with Kia. You know, the sponsor to Insight, if you did not play the commercial, if that wasn't enough, uh, then you go to a better planet. Their video of the week is the uh, is the video. Uh, it, what it is is the commercial for Kia. Is their video of the week is the commercial sponsoring? I'm not sure what their mobility desk even means. Uh, they, they have a picture of the Grim Reaper mobility. I, I, guys, I have no clue what this is supposed to be, uh, what, what point they're making here. This is called mobility, and this is the photograph of a better planet. We, we have the Grim Reaper or is that Satan himself rising out of hell? Uh, I guess Satan is mobile. There you go. Uh, this is Satan rising from the fires of hell. And uh, that is the photograph. This is the photograph for the story Car companies' green agendas rely on carbon-neutral steel, eco-friendly cars. Eco-friendly cars of the future will come with steel parts made in carbon-neutral manufacturing facilities. That, that, is, that is the best picture uh, of an eco-friendly uh, car maker I have ever seen in my life. That is an absolute classic photograph of an eco-friendly car manufacturing facility. Okay, now we already talked about sustainable travel, but of course, do not forget green cruises 
Green Cruises Sustainable Adventures for Eco-Conscious Travelers. They have a picture of a giant cruise ship. You know, I'm assuming that's uh, going through the melting glaciers uh, in Alaska or Norway or wherever, you, you know, is more and more uh, of the sea ice and the glaciers and everything melts. Uh, one thing you can have taking advantage of that is more and more sustainable green cruises, you know, more and more sustainable adventures for eco-conscious travelers is to get in a giant cruise ship and cruise up to, uh, you know, on some doomsday adventure. And if the, uh, I guess if if the ice-free Arctic, why don't you just go to the goddamn moon? Scientists look to space rovers to limit car tire pollution. <coughs> your next generation, I'm sorry, your next green car may run on gas and get 100 miles to the gallon. Uh, all right, Uber and Ford are partnering to get more drivers in electric vehicles. Okay, here, here we go. Yeah, car designers could soon take their cures from long gone animals and plants. Yeah, yeah, like uh, all of the, uh, the animals that have been run over by cars uh, take some cues from uh, uh, all of the animals that have been run over by cars take some cues from uh, you know roadways uh, but we're going to end with scientists say climate extremes of 2023 point to need to end fossil fuels. So I'm going to take a wild guess. You will never see, uh, you will sure as shit never see the word overshoot anywhere in better planet. Uh, the word will never be mentioned ever in the history of this series. And I doubt seriously that you will see the word overpopulation uh, in the history of Better Planet. Uh, and you, you can be goddamn sure you are never going to read one story about reducing the number of humans on the planet uh, to make this a better planet. Guarantee to you, uh, you are not going to see that, but uh, I guess we, we had a, a, a good news uh, roundup after all, but, but, but of course, guys, you, you, you know, you realize that what this is, it is just the latest, just uh, gross move of the mainstream media uh, trumpeting these bright green lies, this unadulterated horseshit, bright green lies about these these fucking electric vehicles. Obviously, it is going to be one of the number one things. They, uh, they're going to be playing up in windmills and solar panels and all the rest. Uh, so, uh, just uh, smoke them if you got them. And uh, hail Satan. Hail Satan uh, for saving the planet with his sustainable, eco-friendly 
uh, car manufacturing factories. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm off to get back to real estate investing in the state of Florida while I still can. My gosh.